Hey guys, it's your girl, the real SRT, and I am back, back with another one. And today's topic is the narcissist hates your presence. Oh yes, these narcissistic dogs, they hate the sight of you. Do you hear me? They hate your presence as a whole. Everything that encompasses you, the way you look, the way you speak, your mannerisms, the way you dress, the way you smell, they hate the very essence of you. They hate your presence. Remember, everything with this narcissist concerning you it's always going to be a secret competition. They compare and contrast themselves to you. And this is why, okay, this is why they have to gaslight you. This is why they have the passive aggressive comments coming at you, you know. They try to hum in on areas where they think that you have some type of insecurity about yourself. But even then, even then, things that you may be insecure about, the narcissist still envies you in those same areas. Things that you would consider a shortcoming for yourself, the narcissist still envy you in that same area okay so now they have to tear you down in those areas they want to ensure that you lack confidence you lack boldness so that you can fulfill your purpose in which the lord placed you here to do they want you to feel insecure and insignificant. They want you to doubt yourself. They want you to look to them for their approval. As if you need their stamp of approval for anything. You know, this all goes back to their hatred. The hatred that they have for you. They hate your presence, y'all. You know, and what can you do? What can you do when someone hate your presence, the very essence of you, who the Lord created you to be? You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Okay? In the sight of God, you are his masterpiece. You are perfection, baby. What can you do when someone hates your presence, whom God created you to be? Well, I'll tell you what to do. When you come around people and you realize that these people have a problem, they have an issue with you. And with your presence, you know what to do? Here's what to do. Shine bright like a diamond. Because the Bible tells us in Matthew 5, verses 14 through 16. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Nor do people light a lamp. And put it under a basket, but on a stand, and it gives light to all in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. So you see, the Lord our God, he want us to shine, honey, and he want us to shine bright, honey. OK, so when you see someone that has an issue with your presence, an issue 
with your light shining bright, that's something they have to take up with God. Okay? It has absolutely nothing to do with you. Because he is the one that put that light inside of you. Okay? He is the one responsible for who you are. The very essence of your being. You know? And guess what? There's nothing you or them can do about it. The Lord created you with a purpose in mind. And his purpose will be accomplished. It's his plans that will stand in your life. Okay? And just know, it's absolutely nothing these dogs can do to stop you or hinder you. Okay? N absolutely nothing. All they do is bark. That's what dogs do. So expect that. Expect the dogs to bark. But other than that, it's nothing that they can do about your presence and about your light shining. Because you're being exactly who God called you to be. But that's all I got for you guys today. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.